I went to buy this actually from a dollar store and this fountain pen actually I purchased it because it brings me back some memories. Let's just try, uh, try the pen itself first to do a test. So these pens, you don't put pressure. So that's the difference. If you have a ball pen, you put pressure. If you have pencil, you put pressure. These things, I'm just going to suspend it like this and you'll see it draws or the rise by itself. No pressure whatsoever. Now, two, uh, in Canada, this was like $3, three Canadian dollars. That's why I'm saying two, Canada, two US dollars in the title. And it's a dollar store pen. Actually, it comes with a spare refill. So there is one refill in there. You just put it like this and just punk punch it, puncture it actually. The refills have a plastic ball at the top. You just force a little bit, center it and force. There's a spare refill and it's a $2. But the reason I'm buying this is because, because I was born in Eastern Europe in Romania. And when I was born, actually, until I was 18 years old, we did live with that dictatorship, the Ceausescu guy, which is not only Ceausescu guy, is actually Ceausescu and wife, because both were uh, leading the country and both were dictators. And we were poor. I mean, it's like any communist dictatorship, if you want to imagine, if you look in North Korea now, perhaps North Korea is going to be twice as worse as we were back then in Romania. But if we compare to other Eastern European countries, which were all communist, the Romanian ones, perhaps in the Albanian ones, we were the worst. So we didn't have a lot of things as a kid in, in school, as parent as well. But we do, we did actually have these pens. So this is what we had back then. We had these pens and also we had pencils and erasers. That was pretty much it. I don't remember having the ball pen. And these pens that we had back then were all, all, all made in China and they were not high end. But everybody had one every single body and those were not with i think this is called cartridge or something like this those had a kind of reservoir and a pump and we just dip it into a ink there was a small bottle of bottle of bottle of, come on i'm going Billy. bottle of ink and i think that's where the name comes from fountain pen it's just like you dip it and you suck that ink to refill it then you have uh, absorbing paper. I don't know what's the name in English. We just clean a little bit the tip and keep writing with it. And those, although we did always have that blue, actually the paint, the ink was blue. I don't remember having black ink. So the ink was always on our, uh, our fingers and we would make, make a little bit of mess sometimes. But I have to tell you something. Um, in Romania and maybe other places too, we had those classes which were the Romanian language classes and it was very popular among teachers to have kids learn, just memorize full commentaries. When I say commentaries could be a commentary on a poem or could be a commentary on a full book. We had to learn and we have to remember a six, five, four, five, six, I think from my memory, maybe two or three pages were the smallest one, but we have to remember four, five, six, seven pages commentary. And some of us will learn them word by word. It was kind of scary. However, back in the days, we did not have computers. We did not have printers. So guess what? We had the teacher will dictate the commentary during the classes and we had to write it down, all those pages. And, and this is perhaps the amusing part of the story. If you go in Romania, you can ask anyone, anyone, do you remember that Romanian teacher? Was he like a dictator, a small dictator in his classroom? Was he sadistic? And I think at least half of Romanians will tell, they do remember how sadistic that teacher was because we have to write down so many pages 
within one or two hour classes. And I can tell you that the speed of writing and the pain in your hand were such that you just don't forget those things. It was basically like a torture. And we had to, I remember we had to kind of memorize the sentence and try to remember the sentence. Maybe ask your colleague, uh, I forgot half of the sentence. Can you actually, you wouldn't ask him. We'll just look on his paper, what he wrote. And it was torture, real torture. So those were the Nazi Romanian teachers. Um, so yeah, that brings me memories about these things. And uh, back then, those tools were not the best quality, but they were doing the job. We were really writing with those for years and for years to come. And still, it's something special about these pens. Uh, I know there are collectors and I know there are high-end pens. Um, I think Parker is one brand. But it's something special about writing down with a pen like this. It's completely different than writing with a ball pen or with a pencil. It's just just a, completer experience, a completely different experience. It's a little bit like painting. And if you can look in my channel, I have a videos uh, where I describe actual paintings, like celebrity paintings and stuff like that. It's really like you are painting. It's like a tiny brush. It's very impressive. It's like it's laying down that ink. It's not the same thing as a ball pen or as a pencil and I don't know I would uh, suggest you maybe buy something else I don't recommend you buy from dollar stores because all items in dollar stores are made by you know those poor Chinese or other places people who are really really exploited and stuff like that so maybe try to buy a better brand but just give it a try and I can tell you that is something magic about it I'm not sure if I could still uh, write pages with this today, but it's something that's almost enjoyable using these things. All right, so that was my story and uh, I hope you enjoy it. It wasn't perhaps a little unusual. And I can tell you that uh, if you look in North Korea, the people up there are struggling. Uh, forget about what they show you in Phon Yang. Phon Yang is just those privileged ones, but the vast majority of North Korean peoples are really, really in big, big, big time suffering. All right. Thanks for watching.